Look at that. It's just gonna be sliding in. Simple install. I want to see the other Exciting. one out and this new one in. We'll compare both. All right, let's yeah. get this installed. to do today uh, today we're going to do the aspen aoa calibration all right um, so i have all our speeds set up um i have our near cruise speed that we're gonna have to hit our, our approach speed i got all our weights and the rules when, during the calibration procedure okay you must be within three knots of the indicated speed so plus okay. or minus three knots of 157. okay um, no more than 100 feet per minute on the vertical speed. Okay. Pitch change at no more than one degree. Okay. And then roll change of no more than two degrees. Okay. So you're gonna guide me through of what you want exactly when. And oh, they, you'll get a you'll get a prompt on the screen. Okay. Here. So that's gonna prompt me. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be a hot start. Oh, this is uh, the terrain database for the synthetic vision. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, it gives you the runways. Which is amazing information. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. I didn't pay too much attention to it when I, I, uh, <laughs> I came in here because it was very busy. All I wanted to do was to look out. Yeah. But, um, That's the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, so I was not looking at here too much. I'm sure I'm going to see it later. But, uh, yeah. So, all the... Lantana traffic, okay, Simon 409, Foxtrot Papa, taxiing Charlie Bravo 16. <laughs> I will listen one to our AWOS. Zero at one, one, gust, one, seven, visibility, one, zero, Clear below one two thousand temperature three zero Celsius dew point two four altimeter three zero zero eight remarks density altitude one thousand six hundred three zero zero eight three zero zero eight three zero zero eight and you got that yeah, there. okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna Long put Beach this in County here Park and Airport, Lantana. all right so we'll do our run up one six over there. Oh, we'll wait until, okay. All right. Like our smallest run-up area. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's really, really small. We'll turn the fuel pumps off. And uh, we're good to go. Do you have enough uh, yeah, air? Yeah, you're clear. All right. And the air is blowing? Yeah. All right, good. That's uh, don't, don't worry, I'm on. 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 And the practice area over there is 122.75, isn't it? I believe so. All right. 
Everybody's coming in, and all right. And the wind is coming from 140. Hopefully the air's smooth. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> it was uh, it was a little bumpy, but it was not so bad. That's a nice bonanza. Oh yeah, that's a uh, 96. And we're gonna cross uh, two eight on Bravo. Clear left, clear right. Lantana traffic, Baron 187, Nano Lima, crossing 28 on Bravo. Lantana. Got enough room, park shop on. How far? Got enough room? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to have to, uh, the in flight checks are going to be fun. Because we're going to have to make sure the stall horn goes off in the right area it's supposed to. Okay. It just propped me on, well, it's going to prop me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When we're ready, we can just hit, uh, you hit menu and you'll see start AOA calibration. Okay. But besides the angle of attack on the uh, new Aspen Pro Max, what, uh, what else is the west. upgrade uh, or an option? So there's a lot of hardware upgrades. Um, the processor is a lot smoother. Graphics are way better. Um, it, I don't I don't feel the Maxes don't get as hot as the older Aspens. It was hot. I do recall it yeah. was getting super, super hot. I, I've had a few. Uh, I have one customer. He has an Aerostar. He's got G600 on one side, Aspen on the other, and the sun just happened to be hitting the that's Aspen, that's and it overheated and blew the display. Out. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Light out of traffic, Baron 1879, my crossing, uh, 2 2 on Bravo, Lantana. Lantana traffic, Sky K0961 on final, runway 16, Lantana. All right, we'll stack up right here next to, uh, while behind this, uh... Little diamond. A little diamond. And line up properly, and, uh, get up, run up, get ready. Ready to party. Ready to party. <laughs> um, right before we depart, we'll turn the AC off. I'll let you, uh, do that. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll wait until he's on uh, crosswind, because we might catch up to him. Oh, you're definitely going to catch up to him. <laughs> a little bit. Like a composite 172. So we'll be a, a straight out. We'll be a straight out uh, departure to the uh, to the south. So with the Baron, we don't roll. Well, we're going to stop, hit the brakes, and get the turbos kicked in first. Okay. clear of the active one six antenna. If there's anything I'm normal, I'll power to it all and I'll break straight ahead. No problem. Lantana traffic, bearing 187, Lima, Bravo 1, departing runway 16, straight out departure, Lantana. Let me know, you air conditioning turn off? Yeah, you can turn it off. Release brakes, and we'll... Rotate at 81. Tom, Tom, thank you. Cherokee 6, who is just uh, presently uh, 4.5 miles north east of Rotterdam, landing on the town off of Palm Beach. Cherokee is alive. 81. Rotate at 7, 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 Rotate at Lance on the traffic there, 187, not anymore. Departure leg, 16, uh, straight out departure, antenna. Lance on the traffic. That's uh, K0961 crossing runway 2 AP, Bravo, Lance And as we flying southwest, the clouds are building up, and uh, there's no way we're going to be able to do the angle of attack calibration. Trying to look for another option. I don't see a hole. See you. That's about right there if you want to shoot. <laughs> it's very high. <laughs> hey. Okay. I think we're going to have to go over to the ocean. Yeah, that's fine. Is that okay? And just like that, we had to come up with plan B.
I'm going to fly over in T-Cures and head east. Palm Beach approach, bearing 1879 in Lima. Bearing 1879 in Lima, Palm Beach approach, coming clear across LA airspace, stay request. Palm Beach approach, bearing 1879 in Lima, just departed in Tikers, we're at 900 feet. We'd like to block an altitude just uh, southeast of Palm Beach for maneuvering between 6,500 and 3,000. 79 Lima, squawk 0272, remain clear of the class Charlie airspace so you can maneuver over the shoreline between Boca, class Delta, and the Charlie. 0272, uh, we'll remain clear of Charlie. 1791. 79 Lima, radar contact 5 miles north of Boca, altimeter 3008. 08, 1791. Alright, so this way we got her eyes. And we'll remain clear of Charlie. And we'll just uh, stay like right here. Oh, yeah. And we'll do a little climb, and we still have our cough flaps uh, open, and the fuel pump is on. And uh, we'll put 36, 24. Yeah, a lot of times you have to maintain the speed for at least a minute. Yeah. So this way we get a second pair of eyes, and it just makes me feel better for what we have to do. Oh, yeah. Because we're going to be busy on instruments right now. Right, right, right. So we'll do all that. Sometimes, you know, I get like someone who's taking care of the radio, and that's your first Standby, instant, we're right? About that. Yeah. I saw the label, and I was like, what's this one? Yeah. <laughs> Altitude. No way! There's your voice. That's cool. All right, so I'm going to increase it to 6,000. So flight tech 71 for... So well, 5,000 for, to for now, 5,500 for now. Yeah. And then do a full approach a question, is that loud enough for you? Oh yeah, it spooked yeah, actually, me it a little bit, but not too to much. So range 142, Palm Beach approach, altimeter 3008. Cooler air is better for this. That's <laughs> true, see how stable it is now too? Flight check 71, we can do the Becca turn in. What else do you need out for Becca? Uh, flight check 71, uh, we could keep it here. Alright, so we're going to hand fly the whole time. Flight check 71, yep. roger, maintain the VFR, and, and you can proceed um, direct to Becca. We're going to reduce and, um, speed a little bit and the, keep our... Uh, our flight check 71, uh, direct to Becca. And, and it, it told and me to that that was going to reach 5,500, that's, that's seven one really nice. Yeah, it gives you 200 foot heads up. Oh, I like it, I like that. Flight check 71 at Rum D, 0900. Especially if you're coming at super steep, you know. That's good. Gives you plenty of time. All right, so if I'm doing that, okay, so that's the same thing. So we're going to level off right, right here. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and press menu. And All right, so what are we going to do? Am I going to keep um, my fuel pump on or what? Yeah, this is normal flying. Okay. Nothing excessive. So they, I'm they do like you, a cruise checklist, basically. Yeah, they, they ask you not to do abrupt changes. Okay. Alright, I'm going to keep going. Like even when you decrease like speed, they ask for one knot per second. Okay. Alright. Now we level back on, and I think I, I would prefer just doing that so we're not going too fast, too far. Is that okay for you? Five miles to the south, heading to the shoreline. We'll be going north along the shoreline to land at runway 16 Lantana. Lantana traffic down at 409 Fox Drop Papa over the Boynton Inlet, okay. northbound 1000, entering a left downwind for 16 Lantana. Alright. Alright, go ahead, press menu. After we leveled at 5500, we lost all uh, recorders inside the cockpit. So, as you can see, going through straight lines, U turn, another straight line, and U turn, just following prompts. The air was calm. Of course, it was not perfect. Got a little frustrated with myself at some point. Right here, you'll see my face. Just a little frustrated. I had to start over. But um, that was just a few times. Overall, it went very well. And after we were done, we spiraled down to get under the uh, Charlie's airspace. And um, Gert was really good looking at the angle of attack on our descent on our final and when we landed on 1-6.